Don't fight people, but look for God. God. Stop being so negative about things right. and look for God. Stop being so, so negative about the things that's happening around you, but look for God. Don't give up. Don't give in, but look for God in the pity party and look for God. Stop murmuring, crying, and complaining, and look for God. Stop acting like you can't make it. You can't go on. And look for God. Don't, don't wait until the battle's over. Shout now and look for God. You, you got to sometimes holler hallelujah anyhow and look for God. After you've done all the stand, the Bible says still stand and look for God. Count it all joy. Count it all joy when you enter into trials and tribulations and look for God because he wants you to see him. He wants you to see him in a new light. Church, you got to look again. Look again. God is there working on your behalf. Look again. God is there moving in your midst. You got to look Again, because God will show up and God will show out. Yes, thank God you, will come through. Thank you, Lord. God will make a way. Yes, he will. God will heal you. Oh, God yeah. will deliver you. Oh, yeah. God will save oh, yeah. you. God will comfort you. Oh, yeah. God will protect you. Oh, yeah. God will help you. Oh, yeah. God will shield you. God will sustain you. God will guide you. God will direct you. God will support you. Our God will lift you. God will never leave you nor forsake you. And guess what? Guess what? Whatever you're in, whatever's happening, God will bring you out. I got any witnesses in the house who know that God will make a way. He'll make a way. He'll make a way. God will turn it around. God will. God will. God will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Somebody shout, look again. Yeah, I got some witnesses. I got some witnesses. I got some witnesses today. You remember Abraham? Remember Abraham, the father of faith? He had a son named Isaac. Yes, he did. God said, take your son your only son to a place I will show you and sacrifice him there. And the Bible says the next day Abraham got up. Got up. Got a couple servants. Yes. Had the servants get a lot of wood. Huh? Got, got fire. Got a donkeys. And got his son and said, come on. Start traveling. Start traveling. And he got to the place that God showed him. He told his servants, wait here. Me and the boy we're going up to worship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wait here. We're going up to worship. And the Bible says that Abraham and Isaac begin to go up on the mountain. And as they're going up, this young boy, he looks around and says, wait a minute. Yeah, wait a right, minute, right, Dad. Right, 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 right. I, I got the wood. Right, right. You got the fire. But where is the sacrifice? And, and Abraham said to Isaac, God will provide. Anybody know he's a provider today? He said, God will provide. Yeah, and, and they went up. They went up, and they built an altar. They built an altar to the Most High God. And the Bible says that Abraham took his son, his only son, tied him up, bound him to the altar, and took a knife in his hand. And as he raised that knife to bring it down and kill his son, God stopped it. God stopped He said, don't touch that boy. He says, now I know that you trust me. Now I know that you believe in me. And when Abraham, when Abraham, Abraham knew what he did, he looked again. He looked again. And when he looked again, he saw a ram in the bush. He saw a ram in the bush. He untied his son. They grabbed that ram and, and, and sacrificed him unto the Lord. Sometimes we got to look again. Look again. Not only that, I got another witness. I got another witness. Yeah, in the Bible, there's a man named Noah. Yes, all right. Man named Noah. God says to him, I want you to build an ark. Okay. 
He said, what's an ark? Mm -hmm. A giant ship. Okay. Build an ark. Build an ark and bring in all the animals. Bring all the animals into the ark. But, but it took 120 years. And for 120 years, he preached the same sermon. My Lord. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. He, every day, he would get up and as he was working, he preached to the people, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Better get ready. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. And look, it had never rained. It had never rained. What God did every morning, every morning God would send dew down from heaven. And the dew would water the plants. Dew. They had never rained. Hear this man saying every day it's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. And at the appointed time, at the appointed time, the rain started falling. <laughs> the rain started falling. And Abraham had got all the animals in. He got his family together. They went in the ship. And the Bible says that yes. God yes. shut them in. He shut them in. <laughs> they didn't lock the door. God did it. The Bible says that God shut them in. And it kept raining and raining. And people were banging on the ship wanting to get in. Uh -huh. But it was too late. It was too late when, when, when the vision that God had given Noah was fulfilled. When that rain started falling. He looked again. And sometimes in the midst of our situation, our day in and day out, we've got to look again. He look preached again. for 120 years. And what about Moses? Huh? What about Moses? Huh? Uh -huh. He, he was on, the Bible says he was on the backside of the desert yes. in Midian. Yes. In Midian, just doing his day in and day out work. And all of a sudden, he saw a bush, a bush that was burning but wasn't being consumed. Right, it was right, just burning. Right. The bush was just burning. Uh, he went over to the bush, and God spoke to him. Matter of fact, he said, take off those sandals. You're on holy ground. Uh, he, he had to look again. Yes, Moses yes. had to look again. And what about Jonah? What about Jonah? Yes. God told him to go left. He went right. Yes. God told him to go north. He went south. Uh, running from God running from God, got on the ship, and there was trouble on the ship. They were throwing their stuff over, and they were saying, wait, something's wrong. God is angry with somebody. Jonah said, I think it's me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they threw him overboard. They threw, they threw and God prepared a, a great fish, a great fish to swallow him up. Three days later, this fish spit him out in Nineveh, where he was supposed to go. Wow. He got when he when he got up, yeah, he had to look again. Look he again. had to look again. What about Isaiah? Isaiah, Isaiah, the Bible says, when King Uzziah died, he saw the Lord high, high and, lift and lifted up, yes, and yes. his train filled the temple. You know, after all that, he went through there. He, he says, Lord, send me. He looked again, send me. What about Daniel? In the lion's den. Lord. Oh, he saw God in the new life. When he laid there all night with those lions mm. and they never touched him, Jesus. he saw God. He looked again and saw God in the new life. And what about the three Hebrew boys? Well, <laughs> the fire was heated seven times hotter than normal. Jesus. Matter of fact, when they were thrown in, the guys that threw him in Jesus. burned up. Oh, and the king looked. He said, wait a minute. Wait. Didn't we throw in three? Yes. I see four. I see four. <laughs> uh, and the Bible says when they came out, they didn't smell like smoke. They weren't yes. singed at all. And they <laughs> saw God. They looked again and saw God in a new light. And here Saul, here Saul later to be named Paul because Paul is the Gentile named for Saul. Okay. Here is Saul on the road to Damascus. Mm. He saw God in a new light because he looked again. Mm. Uh, and whatever you're going through, church, whatever you're going through, he wants you to see him in a new light. God wants you to look again. Look again at your situation. Look again at yourself. 
Look again at your great and mighty God. Look again. Don't you know your God is bigger and better and better than anything? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. With God, all things are possible. Mm. Lord, what do you want me to do? Don't fight God. Don't fight God's people. Don't fight God's agenda. Mm. But look again and look for God. Look for God. He's everywhere, in everything. He's omniscient. He knows all. He's omnipotent. He's all powerful. Yes. He's a great and mighty God. My God. A way making God. A God who loves you, a God who's concerned about you, a God who's concerned about your concerns. Thank you, Lord. And I thank God, I thank God that he allowed me to look again. And he's going to allow you to look again. You know he's a God of another chance. Yes. A God who can turn things around. Yes, he can. A God who can make a way. Yes, he can. Any witnesses in the house? Oh, yeah. Anybody know that he's a way-making God? Anybody know that he's a sovereign, powerful God? Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Look again. Look again. He's there. Look again. He said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. Look again. Sometimes you feel like God is not there. Sometimes you feel like God is not helping. Sometimes you feel like God may have turned his back on you. Yes. Oh, yes. Life gets that tough sometimes. Life does. Any witnesses? Life, life gets that does. tough. Yes. Where you have to say, Lord, where are you? Lord, where are you? Lord, Lord I, 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 I think everybody used this one. I think everybody, Lord, I need you. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Lord, I need you. But he's there. Look again. He's there. Look again. He's always. He never slumbers nor sleeps. He's always there. Is our help and our hope. Look again. Take a fresh look. A fresh look. Come on, let's get the Lord a hand to praise. He's worthy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's worthy. He's worthy. He turned Saul around. Turned him around. He, he, he became one of the greatest disciples of Jesus the Christ. Yes. Wrote most of the New Testament yes. of the Bible. He went on three mission trips, starting church after church after church. Many of these churches in the Bible, Paul started them. He was a great warrior for God. All because God stopped by and he looked again. Look again, church. God, what do you want me to do? God, what do you want me to see? Lord, what do you want me to change? Help me, Lord. That's for me. Help me, Lord. Jesus. I need you, Lord. Every day. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour. I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come. Give me a little bit of that, Will. Come on, church, every hour. I 
Amen. Maybe there's someone here today, some man, some woman, some boy, girl. Maybe you're here and you've taken another look. God always wants us to look again. Maybe you're here, never made that great step of faith to accept Christ as your Savior. Doors of the church are open. If you're here, never accepted Christ. Then today is your day. Won't you come? Come, give me your hand, but give God your heart. God always wants us to see him or see ourselves. And if you look at yourself, the Bible says all have sinned. Come short of the glory of God. The Bible says that we're nothing but filthy rags. The Bible says we're just dust. But if you look at God, he's mighty. He's awesome. He's a miracle worker. He's a way maker. A God that you can't box in. You can't figure out. He's mighty. And he says, come. 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 He wants to know you in a special way. He wants to have a personal, intimate relationship with you. And if you're here, don't have a church home. Don't have a place where you can get strengthened, get built up. Then we extend an invitation to you to be to come, become a part of our church family. If you're here, won't you come? God loves you. God loves you. He cares about you. Heads about. Eternal God, our Father, we thank you for the opportunity to look again. Help us, God, to not only see you, but see ourselves. We all are always in some type of situation, some type of difficulty, and help us in it and through it to see you, our great and mighty way-making God. We come, God, thanking you for life, health, and strength. I pray a special blessing, God, Upon these, your children, who have gathered here in your sanctuary, you know their hearts, you know their minds, you know everything about them. You know just how close they are to you or how far away. You know those who cry out to you in the midst of their situations. And you know those who look for other situations to their problems. But we know that you're our hope, our help, our all in all. So we come, God, saying thank you. Thank you for all things. Thank you for our parents. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our siblings. Thank you for our entire families. Draw families together, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch relationships in Jesus' name. We pray for all of our sick all of our shut in, that you will meet their needs where their needs need to be met, that you will heal them, God. All of our bereaved families, comfort them in a special way. Sometimes it's hard to get over the grief, but help them to get over the hump, God, and look to the memories that we have. And we come, God, preparing for Holy Communion, a very sacred, service, a service where you said as often as we do this, do this in remembrance of you. And we remember, God, all that you've done for us, how you suffered, bled, and died, but got up with all power 
in your hands. God up for us all. So we ask that you will anoint these elements. Take them out of the natural realm. Place them into the spiritual realm. As you anoint these elements, anoint us also, God. And you say in your word that if we confess our sins, you're faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all righteousness. And, oh, God, mercy suits our case. So we ask that you will forgive us of the sins of commission and the sins of omission and continue to lead God, direct us in all that we say, all that we do. We ask these and all blessings in Jesus' name and for his sake. Let us all say amen. 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 We thank God for all of you on Facebook Live and conference call. And those of you in the sanctuary, we're preparing for Holy Communion, a very sacred service. And our table is open. Here at Mount Zion, we have an open table. Everyone can partake. Of, of the blood and body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. No one is exempt. All of us, we have the righteousness of Christ. Yes. He makes us righteous. Yes. So our table is open. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the gift forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving yes. as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine, make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final right. victory. And, and we feast at his heavenly banquet. Through your son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. And now, with the confidence of the children of God, let us pray what the Lord taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thine will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Has everyone been served? of me. And he took the bread, which represents his body, that was battered, beaten, bruised, and bloody. He blessed it, he broke it, he said, take, eat ye all. Likewise, he took the cup with the fruit of the vine represents his blood that was shed for the remission of sins. 
One day, one day when I was lost, he died on the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. He never said a mumbling word. never said a mumbling word he never said a mumbling word for me yeah one day when i was lost he died on the cross and i know it was the blood for me come on the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood yeah the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood for me yeah one day when i was lost he died on the cross and i know it was the blood for me he hung his head and died Hung his head and died. He hung his head and died. Oh yeah. He hung his head and died for me. Yeah. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross, and I know. He's coming back again. Yeah, yeah. He's coming back again. Yeah. He's coming back again. Oh, yeah. He's coming back again for me. Yeah. One day when I was lost, he died on the cross. And I know it was the blood. One more time, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood. There's power in that blood. Blood, the blood. Forgiveness in that blood. Blood, the blood, the blood. For me. Yeah. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand to praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. Anybody get a blessing being here today? Absolutely. Yes. Amen. It's offering time. Amen. It's a part of worship. It's a part of worship. Amen. Trustees. Trustees. It's giving time. Can you take your offerings out in your hand? Can you take your offering out in your hand? Amen. I want to bless our offering. You have it in your hand. Just wave your offering in the hand. Amen. Amen. God, we give you glory. We give you glory even in our giving. Amen. Amen. Heads about. Our God and our Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to worship you through our giving. We ask and praise you would take these gifts, separate them, sanctify them, multiply them, use them for the upbuilding of thy kingdom. Bless all who are about to give, even bless those who have none to give, Lord God, but have a heart to give. Continue to give to all of us that we may continue to give and be a blessing unto others. We love you, we thank you, we lift you up, we magnify your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Ushers, shall we all stand? Shall we all stand? Ushers will direct you from the rear. Amen. Amen. Or you can direct yourself. Come accordingly. Oh, no, we have ushers. Amen. Forgive me. I'm sorry. 
Shall we all stand? Amen. Amen. All things come of thee, O Lord. ready to go. We're getting ready to go. Thanking God for all of you with us in the sanctuary. Conference call line and Facebook live. Anybody get a blessing being here today? Amen. I got a blessing being here today. I'm always blessed when I'm with y'all. Amen. I want to thank God for our praise and worship team. Amen. Singing God's praises. Thank God for our worship leader, Minister Suzette. Uh, our musicians, thank you, thank you. Will, LeVar, Brother Ken, thank God for our multimedia brothers up there, amen. Amen, amen. Thank God for our ushers and our yes. nurses, yes. our communion stewards, amen. And thank you, God, for all of you, amen. We're praying for our young people, amen. Oh, yes. Summer's coming, summer's coming, weather's getting better. Amen. We're praying for, praying for safe streets. Amen. We've got to pray for safe streets. We not only want our young people safe, we want our seniors safe. That's right. Amen. Everybody. Everybody. You know, it's just really, really a time for us to be bombarding heaven. Not only about our situations, but praying one for another and what's going on in our communities. Amen. Amen. So very important. And just by way of a few announcements as we're preparing to go, don't forget Men, Man Cave Monday, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Bible study this coming Thursday on Zoom and conference call at 6.45. We're still walking in the Word. We're in the book of uh, Philippians chapter 1. Philippians chapter 1. Um, Mother's Day is coming. Wait a minute. Mother's Day is next Sunday. Next Sunday. Amen. Eve's on display. Amen. Mother's Day next Sunday, May 8th. Our nurses annual day is May 15th. Uh, that's the uh, second Sunday. And don't forget, the election is coming up. Mm. 
-hmm. May 17th, very important. This is a very important election, folks. You got to get out and vote. You got to encourage others because these seats that are being filled now, they're going to be making decisions for us uh, for the next so many years. So oh, yeah. this is very important. And I promised you I would have the questions. I really don't want to hold y'all. But there's four ballot questions. Four ballot questions. And the first question is talking about uh, the increase in the zoning board from five to seven people. Mm -hmm. And it would be, they would have to be approved by city council. Mm -hmm. So as now, right now the mayor controls it with, the, with five people. They want to increase it to seven and have city council approve who's being put on, not just the mayor. And the second question is to remove gender-based references uh, in the city charter and in the city. It's no longer saying fire, instead of saying firemen, it's firefighters. Instead of saying policemen, men, it's police officers. Okay. So that's, this, uh, that's question number two. Question number three is similar. They want to remove gender-based references in, in the school district. Uh, from him and her to either the mayor or the superintendent or the president of the council. So that's number three. Number four is to include in the, the Fair Housing Commission, um, uh, put the City Housing Commission within the city charter. Right now, the city doesn't really control what needs to be controlled and to make it permanent because it's not permanent either. And um, the Fair Housing Commission controls and enforce the laws related to landlords and tenants. Mm -hmm. So that's an important thing. So those are the four. I'll repeat them next Sunday. Amen? Amen. So we're getting ready to go. Amen. 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 So we'll be honoring our mothers. Amen. If you got here, you got a mother. All right. Or you had a mother. Amen. Amen. No matter what, you're here. Amen. So we're getting ready to go. Shall we stand? Thank God for everybody. Thank you. Thank you, folks. You know we started at 11 a.m. And we, because we're on Facebook Live, we start promptly. Amen. So thank God for all of you. So we're getting ready to go, Brother Will. All of God's people. I forget anything. Amen. We thank God. Ms. Thomas is back with us this Sunday. Oh, yeah. Amen. We thank God for her. Amen. Amen. God has raised her up. So, Miss Thomas, we thank you. Bless God. Amen. So, let's look to the Lord to be dismissed. Our God and our Father, we thank you for what our eyes have seen, what our ears have heard, what our hearts have felt. We thank you for reminding us, God, that we've got to look again. Look again because you want us to see ourselves or see you. And you're a great and mighty God. You're our hope, our help, our all in all. Now go in peace and serve God. Pray for one another. Render no one evil for evil, but do good unto all, especially those of the household of faith. And be examples of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now unto him was able to keep you from falling, present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Henceforth, now and forever, let all of God's children say, Amen. God bless you. Thank you, family. Thank you so much. Enjoy your week. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Suzette. Brother Elder.